Howdy folks, Justin here. Howdy folks, Sandy here. <laughs> and today we are hopping on to Solo Arena once more uh, to uh, test my ability to play with the fantastic deck crafting skills of Sandra. Yeah. Who has no idea how to play Elder Scrolls Legends. Although at this point, after recording videos for like five months, you think she would have paid some attention. I think I've been doing really well. We have been doing really well. We have been doing really well. Uh, this time we are also going to be playing for... We're, we're going to be playing a game between ourselves, inspired by last week. We're doing a true and false game. You want to talk about that a little bit? Mm -hmm. So I have, and he has, a list of statements that are either true or false, and we have to guess if they're true or false. Right. And we're going to be keeping score. Mm -hmm. And the person who has the highest score at the end of the video, and it could end at any time after you know we get some losses with uh, these incredible decks, uh, whoever has the highest score gets to uh, choose what? What are we playing for? I don't know. The next show we binge on TV? Yeah. All right. That counts. Sounds good. Okay. Please, uh, please know RuPaul's Dare Grace. I really had enough of that. All right, so okay. hop on into the solo arena, craft our deck, and between uh, every few rounds of picks, we'll, we'll, answer, we'll do some, some true and false, mm -hmm. and then uh, between rounds, we'll do some true and false. Yeah. So, <laughs> I feel yeah. like I want to go warrior. You've been doing warrior. And I've been doing really well. We're going to try archer. Try archer, Have okay. I tried archer? We haven't tried archer. We haven't tried archer. All right. Okay, so that. Cool. Um, One of these cards is playable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with this one. Cool. Cool? Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay. I feel like I hear you say you like that one, but I always hear you complain about a bat. I do talk about playing around giant bat in Constructed more than I would like to have to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go with the horse. Okay. Okay. Um, oh dear. I go with oof. Your orc, because there's been an orc on your YouTube channel these days. Yeah, that guy. That guy's nuts. Early duelist. Okay. Do we need another orc? We gotta get a bat. No. <laughs> I wanted the orc. Oh no. Uh, savage. <laughs> no, I know which one you're picking. <laughs> it's not the harvester. <laughs> That's what you're wondering. <laughs> Click. Pillager. Oh, I've, I haven't seen that one. Pterodactyl friend. A friend? He said friend. He's pterodactyl. We're gonna get a fire. <laughs> this is not looking promising at all. <laughs> Um. Sure. Do Do you want to ask me? Let's do it. A okay. <laughs> I started off easy, and they get progressively harder. Here we go. True or false? My middle name is Francois. <laughs> false. That is correct. Your middle name is Lee. <laughs> that is correct. All right. You want to ask me one? Sure. <laughs> and. Okay. I was supposed to be born on the 26th of October, but I was born a day late. Jeez. Okay, I knew I knew your birthday is the 27th, so that is false. That is true. You were born a day late. You were born on the 27th. I go with that. That's my final answer. <laughs> You're wrong. What? <laughs> you were born on the 27th. <laughs> I am born on the 27th, but I wasn't... I was born early, not late. <laughs> oh, God. Come on, Celine. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Sandy, one, <laughs> Justin, zero. Okay. It looks like there's some RuPaul race in your future. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to get... No, oh, jeez. This guy, the butcher. And a kitty. Good. Good? Good. <laughs> um, do we need this... It's totally up to you. We're gonna get it. 
this guy, this one, he looks, I, I don't know. Sweet. Yeah? Okay. Good choice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that guy, another kitty. Cool. You want to do another question? Uh, We're already at 17. Oh, okay. And it's possible we just go 0 and 3 and then we don't get a lot of questions. <laughs> and I need, to, I need to make sure we don't watch RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> All right. I had I was in a band called Saturnine and the Arms of Venus. <laughs> um, false. That is true. <laughs> really? I, I was in a band called Saturnine and the Arms of Venus. Zero points for Sandra in this round. Your turn. <laughs> you gonna ask me one now? Yeah. Okay. Um. I was very close to owning a cat in 2002 when I first moved into my house, but I didn't. That's true. Your dad told the story at dinner one time because you had a, there was mice in your house, and he thought your dad thought about getting a cat to solve the mice problem. Yep. Awesome. I'd listen, especially when that guy talks. Right. We're going to get this guy. Crocodile, okay. Oh, do we need another one? It's totally up to you. Or should we get... Oh, wait. You tell me to look at this this bar thing. Now we got a camel anyway. <laughs> um, this forge guy. Um, another kitty. Skuma racketeer. That's a drug dealing Khajiit. Khajiit has wares if uh, if you got coin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, should I do an arrow to the knee? Like you? I used to be an adventurer like you. <laughs> then I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> um, her. Oh, God. This one. Finish off. Okay. All right, question time? Yeah. I don't eat meat for political reasons. False. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> no, that's correct. <laughs> okay, yeah. You don't eat meat. You eat it because you think it's wrong. <laughs> and for religious reasons. Yeah. Yeah. And then... I always prefer to sleep with a maximum of five pillows. I'm going to have to say false. There's no maximum number of pillows. <laughs> like, we accumulate pillows like strays. I mean, it's crazy how many pillows we have. There's no maximum pillows. That's false. That's right. All right, good. Okay. No, that's for that. I'm going to get you shifty here. Mm. <laughs> uh, bow mage. This guy. Or lady. It's hard to tell. Yeah. <laughs> this one. Groot's girlfriend. What's that? <laughs> the one for Groot's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. This one. Cool. All right. So, okay. let's do our first round, or do you want to do another question? Let's do our first round. All right. Pick our opponent. We're gonna go with a kitty. All right. Let's do this. Brother Swift stands the victorious. Justin Larson, director of Despair. I was a pastry chef for a long time, mm -hmm. and then Maricon showed me the light. I like the pastry chef. Well, you like pastries. I do. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll keep the horseman. And we got a camel. We do have a camel. Oh, God. I think we got to go... We gotta go rehab horsemen because we have to trade into that if possible. Um, crap. <laughs> Congratulations, Brother Swift Stance. Hopefully, this, I mean, even if this gets guard, like, we're not accomplishing anything by swinging into it unless we draw a weapon, which we did not do. Well. Okie dokie. So, this is gonna get out of control. Got Ward. <laughs> we're dead. We are? Probably, yes. Ah, we're fine. 
I disagree. <laughs> I agree. I will slap that on there to avoid any uh thing too horrible happening to it, but yeah, we're just dead. <laughs> Fireball might let us make a trade here. Alright. So at least it'll survive. And a prophecy instantly from our opponent. Another moonlight we're at. Solid. Okay, we're going to get for 10, we're dead next turn. Oh, and he had the Execute. And the Hive Defender. Okay. So we got to finish this off in order to not just die. Um, yep, our only move is to give this lethal. And then trade in here and giant bat into that and hope that nothing else gets played. Alright, that'll kill us. So that's game. <laughs> Alright. Yep. No way to survive. Oh, good game, Brother Swift Stance. You just <laughs> devastated us. Should have clicked Warrior. No, uh, you can pick whatever you want. All right, so let's uh, let's do another question and um, proceed to our next okay. defeat. Okay, you, you can ask me a question <laughs> since you deserve it. All right. Um, on September 11th, 2001, I was feeding meals at a homeless shelter. False. What was I doing? We're doing something else. I don't know what, but not that. It is false. I was getting high and uh, making ceramics. That's right. <laughs> yeah, Alright, your turn. Okay. I am left-handed, but I do everything else with my right, except right. That is correct. That is true. Mm -hmm. Alright, go ahead and pick our next opponent. Okay. Uh, this one. All right, Desert Warlock, the creator. Let's see if we can't uh, create a victory here. Um, keep the ally just in case we don't draw anything earlier to play. All right, so we got a curve here. Fighters Guild recruit should contest the Old Gate Warden. And then we'll go Mighty Ally. And then horseman into cut purse probably. Okay. So he's getting his ramp game on. Okay. Battle rage orc. So maybe we can clean up both of those next turn. I'm gonna lay down one of these in each lane. Actually, we'll lay down one in each lane like this. Okay, so hopefully that trades in here. Okay, so our opponent's going to s s full smork. Ooh, that's pretty rough. So we'll have to trade, we'll have to swing both of those into there. And then giant bat the other one down. Okay. So we're off to a much better start this time. We oh, yeah. are. Yeah, much better. <laughs> okay, good. Silence is our guy over there. Okay, so... That does contest that, so I suppose that's the play. Um, okay. And if we draw on equipment, we can ping that thing to death. Okay, so Naha Gleave is probably in our future, or maybe Blood Magic Lord, something big like that. That's a pretty great draw right there. You're um, welcome. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, we will Camel. I think we want Rift and Pillager. 
Try to clear that off. And full court press here. Punished with a prophecy, unfortunately. This could be our downfall now. Yep, that's going to kill that. Alright. Let's see what happens. There's the blood magic lord. There's that. There's that. So we can continue to get in some damage there, but we're going to have to trade that in so that he doesn't get another blood magic spell. Another prophecy from our opponent. Midnight sweep. It's not terrible. We'll lay down these fellas. Hopefully he doesn't have a shackle. He's got a bone colossus. Uh, life drain would be pretty bad because we have to, probably have to kill him next turn. And there's our third bank ride butcher. Finish off might give us lethal. Okay, so unless something terrible happens here, I think we're going to kill him by s swinging, finishing off, swinging for four, swinging for six, so we don't have to break a rune. Alright, well, that was a close one, but we managed to pull it out. As planned. All according to plan. <laughs> Alright, so grab us another card, and then we'll do a question. Okay. Go ahead and tell us why you're picking the card, too. <laughs> Well, there's something about this shield that really speaks to me. <laughs> alright. But I feel like I want the kitty. These are all pretty bad cards, so don't feel bad about picking anything you like. I won't. <laughs> We're getting the kitty. <laughs> alright, thievery. Cool, okay, let me ask you a question then. Um, my first arrest was in 2002. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um... False. It is true. <laughs> I was arrested for trespassing in 2002. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, do I have fun questions? <laughs> These are fun. E. <laughs> okay, my first language was English. False, your first language is Spanish. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's a tie game now. Oh, I lost track. <laughs> you lost track of the score. You know what? I'm going to give myself a point. What? You're going to do what now? I gave us both points. <laughs> Why'd you get a point? Because <laughs> I'm your fiance. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go with this guy. Go with the mage. Okay. Yeah, I knew that. Let's rock and roll. Swiftfoot the victorious. One of my opponent's creatures gets a drop on me. It's a three-four. That's bad news. Uh, we'll keep Sharpshooter Scout because it's a card we can play. Okay, yeah, so we'll Sharpshooter Scout <laughs> and then Lurking Crocodile to try to contest what's going on over here. It's not a great plan, but it is a plan. This ruins our plan. Oh. Uh, we can Crocodile into Bat, which will, I guess, remove the uh, move that guy. Do you like the Bat? Bat's not bad. And our opponent went ahead and took the trade anyway. I don't know. Do you like the bat? Yeah. No? Yeah. I don't know. Do I like the bat? All about that bat life? Yeah. Okay. So getting that to trigger was pretty nice. If he puts the weapon on here, he's smarter than I'm probably giving him credit for. Okay. Bank right butcher. So I think we'll probably just lay down the first one of those. Maybe we just ignore this? Okay, so swing. Oh, swings at the face. And then swings at that. Dawnstar Healer. I like this card a lot. Okay, so let's get our other Butcher online. Did I choose all those Butchers? <laughs> You did choose three of them, I think. I Maybe chose four. three butchers. <laughs> yeah, no. you're all about that butcher life. Uh, whoops! Uh, I only recall one. You you brought the butchers home. <laughs> it's a pretty good draw. Let's camel. 
kind of wish I could get all these cards. We'll go ahead and take that. It's the most value. Swing and kill that. And hopefully he doesn't have the execute for this. Good. Okay, so we just pile on them on over here. Um, finish off is a good draw. So we'll just swing, finish off, lay down that guy and pass the turn. Dark Harvester's fine. We'll get some good value here. Not sure why the computer did that. They're terrified. That's yeah. why. Yeah, they, they're afraid of our orc army. And we'll regain some of our life. Beast Collar might get us two triggers on the Savage, which would be pretty nice. Ooh, Rothgar Forge is funnier, though. And we're not going to swing, so we can get another swing in with the Giant Bat. And now we're going to test a theory, because Rothgar Forge has currently got some bugs with it. I'm curious to see if either of the creatures we summon with Wild Beast Collar get a Rothgar Forge trigger. And neither one of them did. And let's see if this gets one. It did not. So we got no Rothgar Forge triggers off that. That's a little sad. Um, I think we're heading up in life. We just swing with both of them. Let him make up his mind. But that was for science. Because it rules. Science rules. <laughs> okay. Um, let's lay down this fella. Okay. Let's go to fireball. Got a couple ways to pull off lethal next turn then. Opponent in desperation mode. Let's lay down this guy. That's pretty good. Well, I swing with that one first. And trigger our orc. BM our opponent. And swing. I'm not sorry. You're not sorry? <laughs> I'm not sorry. Alright. Okay, go ahead and pick us a reward card and let's uh, ask another question. Okay. Although we're running out of questions. That's true. Well, we still have time until we cut the video. Yeah, this is 23 minutes so far. Okay. Um, there's something about this one. Trying for Yarl? I feel like you say this name, but I don't know. <laughs> I do say it a lot. Just pick whatever you like. We're going to go with this one. All right. Okay. You may ask a question. I was born in Kansas. False. You yeah. were born in... Vermilion, South Dakota. That is correct. Yeah. Well done. Okay. And one month before I started college, I wanted to go to California and go to a fashion school instead. That is true. You mm -hmm. did want to go to fashion school, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. That is very true. Okay, go ahead and pick us our opponent. Let's go. That. Her. Battle Mage. All right, so we're playing against Camlorn Flare. That sounds intimidating. <laughs> the Victorious. Uh, no special qualities to these lanes. I do like the curve, um, so we'll keep it. We have Orcs for Days, which is kind of fun. Okay, we'll, we're just going to immediately contest this, I think. Um, although it's tempting to Stone Shard Orc it down. You and your orcs. My orcs, yeah. Actually, we're going to take the greedy route. Hopefully he doesn't equip this, and we're going to stone shard orc it down. Cool. Yeah, we, we got rewarded there a little bit. Um, and then we can lay down a banker eye butcher next turn, potentially. That's all right. We're still laying down the butcher, um, although it might not survive. No 
equipment. So our second butcher is going to get some good value. What should we name this video? Sandy and the Butchers. Sandy Sandy Butchers, my deck, my, my win rate. <laughs> Justin walks in on Sandy and four Butchers. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that. Okay, more survivalists. Out of orcs, too. Maybe I really should have thought this through a little bit better. Come on, Justin. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Wild Beast Caller might be able to do something about this. Oh no, Blighted Alit. That's gonna kill me. Did I choose that creature? I mean, kind of. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> no, it's alright. Yay. Um. Oh. <laughs> we gotta do something about that. <laughs> I didn't. <do> <laughs> That's not your fault. Of course it's not. <laughs> Hopefully we can draw a card off of this. Oh, he just swings in. Interesting. Okay, so let's... Let's lay down two four drops. Let's pass the turn. Get a good board position. Opponent's hand must be just full of equipment or something. Ooh, we got Rathgar Forge. Pass one more turn. And a Quippling Whirling Duelist with a Rothgar Forged item is going to be a, a little combo. A rune-breaking combo, actually. I like my combos. <laughs> Bam. Seems pretty good. Uh, yeah, it was past turn. Ooh, some fireball value in my future. Our future. Our future. <laughs> I'm thinking for two. I'm legend feeding for two. And yeah, we'll get Bankrupt Butcher online. Get that f sweet firebolt value. And go ahead and pass turn. Try to just kill our opponent in one turn. Got a couple of massive creatures here. It's solid. Alright, time for that BM action. Let's get that online. Sweet guard creature. Let's uh, shadow shift around a little bit. Let's uh, lay down a camel. <laughs> Oh man, I can't play Triumph at Yarl. I'm going to take it anyway, because that's how I roll. I'm going to gain some life. And I'm going to kill him with a cat. I killed him with Katniss. Everdeen. Oof. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Go ahead and pick our reward. Yep. And let's do another question. Alright. And then should we cut this video off? At the half let's do it. Okay. We're oh, I don't know. We're going to get... This, this bow thing. Sure. Yeah. All right. Okay. Here's the question. Mm -hmm. My my clean and sober date is May May eighth, two thousand twelve. Wait, say that again. <laughs> my clean date is May eighth, two thousand twelve. False. What is my clean date? Is it August? Oh, no. I think this counts as a no point for Sandra. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I have 11 <laughs> other months to guess on. You have 364 other days to choose from. <laughs> I'll be fine. Um, February? Nope, it's May 7th, 2012. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I have a total of five tattoos. You have six? You have arm, uh -oh. arm, ribs, finger, arm, side of hand. Six is what I'm going with. Nope. What am I missing? <laughs> okay. One, two, three. That's right, four, I forgot the two five, dots. Five, yeah. six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Zero for Justin. See you next time, guys. <laughs> See you in part two.